I'd like to just take you on a quick, what I call, walkthrough tour of the CD-ROM. The new one, which is called, uh, the title of them is Black and White Colour, and this one is the floral one in the range that we have for you. And colouring in has become really popular. It's a fantastic hobby, it's very relaxing, and it's quite good fun to do for all ages. And this CD, as the title suggests, is the floral one and is based on themes around flowers and florals for you. So what we have is the basic CD here and the navigation. We have uh, large florals, shaped florals, floral fans, uh, floral baskets, round florals, and then the floral graphics. So I'll just very quickly start up here and take you through what we've got on the CD. Now, you've got a choice here, um, making them into cards, and I really find, to be honest, A5 to be probably about the best size to work to, but with the graphics package, you can make them any size you want, and more on that a little bit later on. Or we have them on the large A4 size, so um, let's just sort of pick on one here. So we click on, and then we have two sets. It'll tell you you're in the A5, and we'll click on, and there we go. That's our image here. And when printed out and folded, that gives you your A5 card, which obviously is going to fold across the line here. Um, although saying that, there's nothing to stop you tipping it up the other way, especially with these designs, because really they look great from every angle. There's no real up or down as such. And again, to go back, we're going to simply click onto the return there. And now I'm just going to go back and go to the A4 and go through the same process again. We know where we are. It says A4. And again, this is just a larger one that will print out onto an A4 sheet of paper if you want to have some fun with some really large colouring in. Maybe it's for younger folks to have a go with as well. So they can be a little bit... Um, less precise with the lines and easier to colour in. But both options come here on the CD for you. So, um, well, let's just dive back on and show you. So on this first one here, um, we'll see we've got 20 designs in total, all based on floral designs. Some a little bit more open for colouring in, um, others slightly tighter. But again, it's really up to you with what you colour in with and how you want to colour in. Because we're all slightly different, whether you're using paints, crayons, mixed media, it's fun either way. So these are very much um, pattern-based designs here for you and just great to sort of lose yourself as you enjoy the colouring in process. Okay, so a5, A4, that's the flavour that's going to run through. And we'll just click onto there and go on to the next one. Now, these are shaped florals. And if you've brought any of my products in the past, you know I rather like my A5, uh, my square cards. Um, so we have 30 in this particular set. So lots to, uh, to have fun with. And I'll just click onto one here. And again, we'll see this will fit nicely within your A5 card, either landscape or portrait. It's up to you. Um, or you can make it into a square card. It's just, uh, for argument's sake, 150 mil. So you can just, I've popped these in the middle rather than putting them at one end because it gives you the chance to, to use it either way. But you can make that into a square card if you want to. And again, simple uh, designs like so, through to more complex ones, uh, like this as well. And again, this is mirrored. If I just go back, if we go onto the A4, it'll show up better on, on the screen as well, as they're a little bit bigger. So we've got them, as I said, larger ones here. And again, a little bit more detail if you want to. As I said, it really does depend on your colouring in style um, and how you like to colour in. So... A lovely set there and um, if I just go back sorry if I just go forward to there we can see there's 30 in the set so we've got different shapes they're predominantly square and then we go on to the heart shapes which are rather nice as well and again these will be mirrored in the A5 for you and finishing off set 3 again you can see it's very much based around the theme of hearts as well for a shape there for you Okay, and now we've got 
Oh, I really like these, one of my favourites, the floral fans. Now, we've got a blank one here for you, but that's something if you wanted to work in with other media, with rubber stamps or whatever, even with dice. Um, but that comes into its own on the graphics package. That we're going to have a look at a little bit later on. Um, but if I click on to here, we'll see we have our fans. And again, if I just click on, we have something slightly more complex to something a little bit simpler as well, ready for you just to colour in and have fun with. And they do look really, really nice. And of course, those will come back into A5 as well. So a smaller one, let's, uh, oh, I rather like this one as well. And again, you can see it's already positioned within the card, ready for you just to print out and to colour in, fold and create a really, really lovely and I think quite stunning card. So they're great fun to work with. So that's all on the CD for you there as well. And now we've got the um, the flower baskets. Again, I'll just pop onto the A4 because they're a wee bit bigger on the screen. And uh, let's have a look again from nice and simple, just for colouring in, through to something, uh, let's go a little bit more complex here. But there's a lot of lines and things on here, but you know what? It's still relatively straightforward to colour in. Just go for the for the main areas. And for me, the colouring in is is the fun, is the passion. I'm not trying to create a work of art. Hopefully they're going to look nice. Um, and they usually do turn out pretty good. But it is just that sense of relaxation as I'm colouring and just having a bit of fun with it. And sometimes I'll want to be a little bit more challenged and I'll have something I'm enjoying just taking my time and, and just meandering through. It's a sort of holiday for your mind, <laughs> as well as fun to do. And of course, we've got the AE5 ones to make lovely cards as well. And you will see those again positioned, ready to create an A5 card. Uh, an A5 square one if you want to. You can just cut top and bottom to, to square it off to 150 times 150 mil. They're all thereabouts. So again, a nice uh, collection. And then I'll just again pop onto the A4. We have these lovely just rounded shapes and I rather like these. And it's just again a little bit of fun uh, for colouring in and making cards, uh, florals, and some with more detail, uh, some a little bit simpler as well. Um, through to um, something slightly plainer with the leaves here. So I'd like to think there's a little bit of something for everyone on there. And again, that will be, let's, oh, let's go for that one. That will work in position on your A5 card. Okay, so that is the main part of the CD, but <laughs> there is a whole fantastic section on here, and it's called, and here it's on the floral graphics, because now you can create your own images as well with this. Now it's a very simple uh, graphics program, I almost hesitate to call it a graphics program, but it is effectively a very, very simple graphics program. Um, that sits within our Adobe Reader here. Now, when you click on, it may ask you, because it's actually on a separate page, um, do you want to allow access? Because you're leaving this document and my security is set up to warn me. So I'm just going to click allow because all it's going to do is just open up another page there. And that's gone to another document. So I'll get rid of the bits at the side there. And now we're into the graphics and you'll notice right away that it looks very similar to the one we were on just previously but two big buttons here graphics landscape graphics portrait now this is simple to use and i will also remind you that we have everything on here as png files that are on the cd you'll have to right hand click and open it up and then just um, access those if you want to use it in your own graphics package. But if you want to have a little play with this um, and it's good fun, why not? Then you've got everything at your fingertips here. So let me just um, very quickly show you what we've got. And in fact, um, just run through because I am going to do a little, there will be 
a video tutorial on how to use the graphics. So I'm going to click on something we haven't seen, which are the floral elements. And there's nearly 70 of these. And what I'm going to do is just say pick on an item. Uh, let's have that one there. And you'll notice a box comes up and that's going to allow me to copy it. Um, if you click twice, a little dialog box comes up, just click back on it again. If that doesn't go off, just click on to there. But what we want to do is one click, left hand click, and we're going to copy this. And what I'm going to use is Control C. I've got a Control C to copy, or you can go to Edit, Copy there. And I'm going to pop onto the landscape one here and then go Control V. And that brings it up. Or you could go to Edit, Paste if you want to there. And effectively, what we can do now is resize these because they're actually quite big graphics. They're pop down on a small size and what I've given you here is what I call um, a portrait shaped card and that blue line won't print but if you imagine that's the halfway line that shows you where to work within that area so that you don't want to go too far over this won't allow you um, to go beyond that box on the edge there depending how close the graphic is so we've got an image there and we can turn that around and just use them together one will just sit on there one on there and you can basically um, just play around with these and build up different images so I'll just go on to return now uh, again this is all going to be covered on the uh, graphics uh, tutorial but I'm going to go I'm using the alt and return arrow here because it's a lot quicker and um, just pick up on let's say pick up on that one there control C going back to graphics landscape control V and opening this now everything's stacked in layers so that's just going to now sit on top there and again I can change the color I can change the angle you can make it gray if you want to as well but it depends if you're colouring in and you want it slightly greyer, we can do that as well. Again, that's all going to be in the very short tutorial on the graphics. But you can see now the fun you can have with this. And uh, last but not least, let's go back to return. You'll see that takes you back to the main page. Um, why don't we just pop in, um, let's have that one there. And again, control C and back to graphics landscape. And let's pop it there. Now that looks quite tiny, but that's capable of going to quite a big size. It's got all the detail of a large A4 one on it. And that sits there. Now, it is a, just a case of simple matte and layering. Um, and if you want to, if you decide, well, I actually like that on top, what you need to do is then go there, Control X. That means we get rid of that, make that a bigger size. And I'm just going to go Control V, and that now sits on the top. We've got some at the side. Oops, click onto that. That's in position, and you can see now we could build up our own lovely designs. So lots on there. Do watch the video. Um, that will have a lot more information about it. But you can see, really, honestly, we've nearly covered it on there. It's quick and easy to use. Now, um, this is the portrait. And you can see now that's your halfway line and that's got the square in it if you want to make the square cards. So that's a little bit easier just to work out where your image is on there. So that's the difference between the that's our portrait and that's our landscape there. OK, so we've got lots you can play around with on here. And this is all into the graphics. As I said, everything on here, um, you just click onto it and copy it and paste it and all these images are available separately as PNG files that you can use with your favorite graphics package if you want to I said this is a very very simple just basically matte and layer one um, with the fans just to let you know that we also here have although it looks dinky and tiny here goes to a full A4 um, you can use this and put different designs behind it again you'd put that on last and build up through but we'll have a look at that on the graphics and again each button is there for the portrait 
all the landscape for you to work with. Click on to return and that takes you back to the main page there. And again, if you click back to return to flowers, this takes us back to the document. And in this case, we're probably uh, just going to ask me, do you want to save the changes? I'm going to say no. And again, you need to look at the graphics package about that because we've got means and ways of saving the work. I'm just going to try and drag that one down. There we go, get rid of that arrow because it's opening out and going into another page that's coming up there. Now I'm working in the latest Adobe here, <laughs> which I don't normally work with. I prefer 9. If you can get 9 on your computer, and I think it's actually 9.5 is the best one to work with. But I just wanted to show you this because lots of people have got it. It's the latest one. And you can pretty much do everything with it as well. There's a few little irks and things like that there. And um, I'm sure we'll find a way of just saying don't show that. But it's only just click on the arrow if you want to get rid of it. Um, but it only comes up as we flip from page view to page view. So there we go. That's um, a fairly quick and robust tour, walkthrough tour of our latest range of CDs. They're called Black and White to Colour. That's uh, the range. And this one is the floral one. And just to finish off, it is, as the title says, all about enjoying colouring in using mixed media or the media of your choice to enjoy some relaxing crafting time enjoying your colouring. Anyway, I hope uh, this has given you um, an insight into what's on the CD and perhaps inspired you to have a go yourself. We also have a second one in the range which is called Fantasy and again different imagery but a similar way of working as well and again I've got a walkthrough tour for that. And if you go to the website, who will also be under the tutorials, the graphics tutorial. Now, if you're connected to the Internet and you click up onto here, you will be able to go to our website and that will take you directly to the tutorial pages as well. Last but not least, there's a little help menu. And that's there just to guide you through the basic printing. In fact, why we're here, let's just do that as well. So if you want to print an image, click onto the uh, print icon there or go file print and up will come the details of your printer. This is mine here um, and you can set the properties for each of it there. So if you want it good quality, in truth it doesn't need it. Um, or uh, however you want to set it, the page format etc. Although because it's an Adobe document it will work fine for you here the big thing is print to page current page you want that box there to show you not all <laughs> 206 pages there um, current page and you'll be absolutely fine and down here you can either have it to fit actual size or shrink oversized pages um, it's a4 shrink oversized it just means it's i've designed it so it should go through your printer without any trouble but it's up to you we've got actual size and you see the gray lines there that's warning me i'm a wee bit close to my printer there but i'm still within limits or to fit so um not too much of a problem on this one really whatever you want the rest of it's all fine then just go for print and enjoy your coloring so i'm just going to cancel out of that and we'll just return back to our main page here. Yeah. So there we go. Um, lots to play with, lots to have a look at. Um, fun to work with, lovely to work with. And for me, the real excitement also comes into the fact that you can now start designing your own images to colour in as well. And you can combine these with all the different ones we've got here. So it really does make the most amazing uh, and uh, colouring in product for you as well. Okay, enjoy your crafting, have fun, take care, and I will hopefully be back with something uh, to, to show you again in the future. But please, please remember, have a look at the graphics package if you're going to use it, the little tutorial. It will pay dividends. Okay, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.